Hi, this is Kimmy from Everything Your Mama Made and More. I'm here today to show you a quick and easy way to turn long skinny straps. And so what I have here is a long skinny strap that's about two widths of the fabric, so it's about 80 inches long. And I have my start is got a hole just like you would normally leave. And then when I go all the way over to the other end, what I did is I cut my strap a quarter of an inch longer than I needed to, um, and I sewed it close. If your pattern that you're using calls for it to be sewn close anyways, you don't need to add the quarter of an inch. If it doesn't, um, I added a quarter of an inch, and I used just shy of a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So after I turn it, and I get it all finished, I will just cut off that little piece of the seam if I need to, and then I would have two open ends again. So um, what I have here, this is my turning tool, and it is actually a Tunisian crochet hook. It's about 12 inches long. Um, you also find them at places like Walmart sell them called Afghan hooks. Um, they, the, the, this big thick one um, I got on Amazon, generally they're in smaller sizes, but this works really well for turning and it's multi-purpose, which I really like. You can also use um, like a bamboo skewer or chopsticks um, and whatnot. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of your crochet hook and you just make like a little pocket. And so what I do is I kind of pull it apart and I push it in. So it's just a little bit of a dimple for my end of my crochet hook. And then you just kind of slowly wiggle the crochet hook in. And so once you get the crochet hook in a couple of inches, that is the hardest part of this process. And so the crochet hook's hitting that seam now, so it won't go any further. And so when you, as you push your crochet hook, you pull with your left hand, push with your right hand, and it will slowly start filling up your hook. And so what happens when you get to the bottom, it'll just start scrunching up, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. And you just keep going until you get to the end there we go we're at the end so when you get to know you got to the end you see the raw edge your crochet hook is in the tip um, if you need to have your corners pointed now is a good time to do it with whatever you're turning it with if you don't need to have your corner or your end finished then this is where you would take your scissors and just cut off that tiny little bit so after you've gotten it all on the crochet hook, once you have the end out, you can pull the crochet hook out and you don't need that anymore. And um, then all you're going to do is you're going to grab firmly with your left hand. And so instead of pushing and sliding, you're going to be pulling and sliding. So I'm just going to pull. And as you pull, you'll see that from this back side over here, it's pulling it out. And you just keep going until you get your your end piece done and so that's now I've got a long skinny strap that's turned the right direction it only takes a few seconds so and again if you were gonna if you needed this to be open you could just cut that seam off or if it needed to be closed anyways you could leave it that way you can turn really small straps I've turned straps as small as like three eighths of an inch without an issue this particular um, strip was three inches folded in half so an inch and a half and I used a quarter inch in seam so it's this is one and a quarter inches um, but basically the smaller the strap you need the smaller turning you device